Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in the community of tradition in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And um, I know our cameraman can't pan over, but for those who are here, do you see the rays coming down? Isn't that beautiful? So thank you, cameraman, for attempting to get that shot. We, we really appreciate it. Um, so it's a little chilly here in Florida. For those of you who are watching us up north, I'm so sorry when I tell you that it's 56 and we're just a little chilled here this morning. Um, but not for you to worry because it's going to go up to 71. So we'll be fine here today. And for those of you who are up north, um, stay warm. So it is the first Monday of the new year, 2021. It is the 11th day of Christmas. And how does the song go? As I was walking here, I'm trying to remember. 11 Piper's Piping? 11 Piper's Piping. So um, think of that today. Tomorrow is the 12th day of Christmas. And then we have on Wednesday, January 6th, the Epiphany. So uh, we do have coffee with the pastor on the Epiphany. So um, come and join us. Uh, we'll send an email out on that. So on this, as I see everybody like, come on already, we're cold. <laughs> and of course, those of you who are watching us are laughing. So on this um, 11th day of Christmas, hear these words. This is, I want you to imagine this is Jesus speaking to you. It is from Sarah Young's Jesus Calling. Relax in my healing presence. As you spend time with me, your thoughts tend to jump ahead to today's plans and problems. Bring your mind back to me for refreshment and renewal. Let the light of my presence soak into you as you focus your thoughts on me. Thus, I equip you to face whatever the day brings. This sacrifice of time pleases me and strengthens you. Do not skimp on our time together. Resist the clamor of tasks waiting to be done. You have chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from you. A couple of things that call to mind for me here. Really, when I read it, um, to select this one for today, because it's Monday, the first Monday in the new year, and we can tend to just kind of rush right into things. But what called to me was, you have chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from you. And it made me think of the story of Martha and Mary, where Jesus is coming to visit um, his dear, dear friend, Lazarus, right? And he comes to the house and the story is that you know, um, Martha is the one who is like the perfect hostess. And that is what you do. Um, you're welcoming people and she's running around. She's getting things all crazy. And Mary is the one who sits at the feet of Jesus, which is so incredibly unusual. Oh, that's not a woman's place at that time. The, woman, the women were to do the welcoming and the men would gather. I mean, the, and the women would do the preparing and, and all the meal preparation. And it was not their place to sit with the men. And yet Mary knew who her Lord was, knew that the time was precious, and she chose to sit and listen. And of course, what does Martha do? Complains. Hey, could you tell her to get up and get in here and help me for goodness sake, right? Um, how many of you have said that to your brothers or sisters <laughs> when you were kids? Really, do you think? You know, dad, mom, tell them to get in here and help me. And what Jesus is, says, says is that Mary has chosen what is better and it won't be taken away. And that is not to diminish what Martha is doing, but what it's saying is what Mary is doing is good. It's okay. She needs to do that. We need to do that. And then when I just read this through, as we're gathered here together, this is the, what called out to me this time. Bring your mind back to me for refreshment and renewal. I just love that because that was the true refreshment. 
as Mary sat and listened and spent time. That was the true renewal. And it was, um, thus I equip you to face whatever the day brings. This sacrifice of time pleases me. And more importantly, I would say, it strengthens you. It strengthens us for the day ahead. Don't skimp on, and I love this, our time together. It's not your time with me that Jesus is saying. This is our time. It's as important to me as it is to you. And I just love that really struck me this time. Don't skimp on our time together. Because what you have chosen to do is the better. Let's pray together. Gracious Lord God, we do tend to jump into the tasks of the day and not take the time that we need to spend with you, as you call it, our time together, our time where we can be refreshed and renewed, strengthened in your presence and what you have to say to us on this day. Help us as we begin this new year, 2021, to be mindful of this, this precious time, that it is the better thing to do. It's so important, gracious Lord God, that you help us while others are running around frantically and possibly looking at us as being lazy, that we take this time. Help us to recognize that what we are doing is so important. It is far from lazy. If anything, it is the harder of the things to do. And yet, it is what strengthens us. Help us as we move through this day to stay focused on you and our time together. Now we pray those words that your son Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So for those of you who are watching, if you want to dwell more time with the Lord, by all means do that. But remember, you can also dwell while walking, while walking. So um, just somehow, I encourage you to move, especially those of you who are up north. Just do something that will help you move to get your fitness piece in for the day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Blessings.